Hey guys, happy homebrew Wednesday. Cheers. And uh, haven't got a beer just yet. Just give me a minute. We'll get into that. Got a couple of beers we're going to try this week. I didn't do a, a homebrew Wednesday last week, but I did do a live broadcast on my Craig Talk channel. Um, some of you might not have known that, and I apologize for the lack of um, communication there. Um, but uh, if you want to go and watch that, it's three hours long. <laughs> um, but it's on my youtube.com slash Craig Talk. Okay? It'll be the last video I posted, as of this date, anyway. All right, It was a lot of fun. Um, anyway, this week I've got a couple beers I want to try. i got a review of the, is it called the Big Ass Texas Brown homebrew that I did, which the kit was sent in from, uh, from a viewer, and we brewed it up, and that was Glenn, I believe. And, wow, it was a great beer. We'll get to that in just a moment. But first, I have a Bone Shaker... IPA. I've been looking to get my hands on this. I'll tell you a little backstory before we get into it. Actually, let's pour it first. Oh, it's right here. And then I'll tell you why I have this beer and uh, the whole little story behind it. Well, here's the label. Okay. And I like the picture. <laughs> it's kind of, kind of cute. Uh, this is an IPA that has a load of hops in it. It's from the... Um, Amsterdam Brewery? Yeah, Amsterdam Brewery. Anyway, I'll, listen, I'll show you a, a a fact sheet that he sent with this as well. And um, I'll flash it up on the screen right now. And if you want to pause the video you, to read this, then you can do that. I'm not going to leave it up for long because it's too big. So if you want to pause it and read this, great. And then that's it. We're back, okay? So let me pour it and then we'll tell you why it's here. I cannot wait to try this beer. Oh my, I just caught a whiff. It's very hoppy. It's got seven different grains in it, 90 minute boil. Um, lots of hops added at, added at different times in the boil. And um, naturally carbonated, so it's bottle conditioned, I think. So we'll just be a little bit careful when we pour it. Although it doesn't say anything on the bottle to do that. Maybe they just want you to pour the whole thing. Oh, I cannot wait to try this. This beer was recommended to me by a friend of mine whose name is Jake. And um, he kept saying, you got to try it, you got to try it, you got to try it. Well, I could never find one around here. I looked online, you know, and there was not really anything local to me. So through the course of, you know, a little chat that went on in my chat room on my show, my live show, um, a friend of mine, Andy, or who goes by the name of Dripstick in, the, in my chat room, um, he lives fairly close to me, and today I came upstairs and looked outside, and there was a box sitting on my porch with these two of these Bone Shaker IPAs. I'm thrilled to try these. So, Jake, I got them. We're here. Let's try this. It's I can smell the hops with, from here without even going up and doing a nose. Oh, it's like catnip. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Anyway, I'm dying to try this. Cheers, guys. Let's give it a whirl. Holy man. There's grapefruit coming out of this like crazy. There's Give it another try. Mm. Oh yeah, I can taste that. I read the, I did read the, the description of it, so I know what, you know, there's pine notes in it and citrusy and stuff like that. I'm not going to pretend I can, you know, am I too close to that damn thing? There, oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm not going to pretend I can review a beer properly, but um. I can tell you right now that that is loaded with hops, beautifully balanced with um, the malt backbone, a um, little bit sweet. I just see grapefruit, you know, and um, lots of layers of hops. Oh, it's just gorgeous. So thank you, Andy Dripstick, for bringing this to me and dropping it off. He didn't even knock. He just stuck it on the porch with a note. So... 
thank you so much, man. And I really appreciate it. Uh, you letting, you know, dropping these off to me. Um, <clears throat> nicely carbonated. And um, beautiful beer. Very glad to try it. Um, I'm not going to do a Craig's beer review on it because I don't. I only do those for home brews. Um, well, I don't do commercial beer reviews. I, I'm not good at it. You know, I'm really not. So I do them on my homebrew Wednesday. And uh, I'll take one more good sip of this. For an IPA, I mean, as far as an IPA goes, that's an IPA. That's what they're supposed to taste like. Really good stuff. I don't know if you can get them in your area, but I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm enjoying that. So, um, before we get into the next review, which was the um, the big ass Texas Brown that I brewed, just wanted to let you know that I did. Um, film the uh, beef jerky video and that should be up in the next day or so okay I just have to edit it I made a whole whole slew of it gone it's like I told my kids I said God, there's no sense me making it I may as well just take the meat marinate it and bake it in the oven and give it to you and you can eat it because they were dying over this stuff they were mm, chewing it oh you know so I guess I did something right so that video will be up. I was a little disappointed with the size of the pieces that I ended up with. But that's just because of the way I cut the, the meat up and the size of the thickness and you know all that kind of stuff. So you can do it whatever way you want to do. Okay, let's move to another area of the basement. Actually, this was shot on a different day of my review of the beer kit that Glenn sent me of the big ass... Texas Brown Ale. Finally this week we get to taste the big ass Texas Brown beer kit that I that was sent to me from Glenn a few weeks ago. I brewed it two weeks ago on Homebrew Wednesday and I've got it in the keg. Now the only time I've tasted this is straight out of the um, fermenter when I was you know kegging it so it's flat right so and <laughs> I think I'm in for something quite nice here okay that's all I can say at the moment. I've chosen a glass. This is what I call my safe glass. And the reason why it's safe is because of the shape. Um, as the head develops, it gets wider and then you, it's actually, I just washed it so it's still wet. But um, as the head develops, it gets wider and that re reduces the head a little bit as it comes up because I don't know what to expect from this beer, right? So if you were to pour it into a glass one of those ones that's shaped like this, then when it gets narrow, you could have a bit of a problem with some head. And I don't know what kind of foam this beer is gonna have. I don't even know how well I've carbonated it. So, safe glass, okay? Experiment with some of your different um, glass shapes with the same beer, and you'll, you'll see how, you know, how they work. Um, make sure they're all washed the same way and everything like that. So let's go in and grab it. Let's see what we've got, okay? Um, okay, let's go. <laughs> I hope everything works out. Okay. I don't have a lot of light in this area of the basement. I'm sorry about that. Oh, yeah. Okay, it looks like it could use a little extra serving pressure. Because it's coming out a bit slow. However... It also looks like I'm getting a decent pour. So that tells me a few things. That tells me I may have overcarbonated it a little bit. Or it just maybe the beer just has a lot of body. Okay. My goodness. Oh. Guys, <laughs> this is something else. Yeah, this is not, this is not funny. This is, uh, I can pick the hops. I can pick the, the, um, the, this is a fruity, citrusy aroma there, backed by a sweetness like caramel. Um, mm, 
Okay, all right. Well, thank you, Glenn, for sending this beer kit in. And I'm looking forward to it. Cheers. It's going to be big. Seriously, um, wow. That's, um, that's going to be difficult to keep in the keg. Like, I'm sitting here thinking, I wish I had a second keg full of something else. Not because I don't like this, but because I like this so much that it's not going to last. I don't have any other beer. This is all I've got at the moment. I've got other stuff brewing back there, but... Mm. Right off the top, the two things that come up immediately... And they're like, there's no doubt in my mind here. The citrusy part, okay, like the grapefruit kind of thing. And I don't even remember which hops were used in this. The grapefruitiness and then the, the malt sort of caramelly sweetness and the mouthfeel is incredible. And it's a, it's a great blend of those three things um it's got a, a pleasant bitterness to it what was it was a defalco a defalco beer kit got to give them thumbs up here um the bitterness the sweetness and then the citrus citrusy aspect and i'm talking about the best grapefruit you've ever had in your life you know the real the blood ones the red grapefruits and then the mouthfeel is creamy and the carbonation is and that's my ass my thing my aspect is moderate um and i'm thinking that that's probably where i should leave it i pr i could give it a little more but i'm worried that that's going to um cause too much head foam action there and i'm more also worried that it might take away from the taste of the beer so um and uh, i didn't really wait for it to clear i, I don't want to lose all these hops right so i didn't use any whirl flock or anything like that and it's a dark beer so it might even you know who know i can't even see through it um it's it's a brown ale and it's kind of clear but not totally well, you guys probably can't see it and i don't have a flashlight with me but that is a fantastic beer what was it called again kick-ass texas brown is that what it was? Hey, I'll put it down here. I forgot already. From Glenn and a great beer kit. If you have to, if you have half happen, huh, happen to be able to get your hands on it um, or something similar to it, um, you saw the recipe. I don't know if all the grains were listed there or not, but like all the different ones. But because um, sometimes you know when they make a beer kit, they don't want to give away every single thing because then you can just do it yourself, right? They want you to buy theirs. So, it, I'm I'm very very pleased with this beer. Absolutely shocked. Good stuff. Good beer. That was a good beer. And now I have I just kegged up another Cooper's Canadian Blonde kit uh, that I'm going to be uh, carbonating probably in a few minutes. Um, it's already cold in my freezer, my fridge, and. Um, going to be putting some slices of lime in that and that's going to be my go-to beer for the summer pretty much it's good like that it's much different than this this is a heck of a beer heck of a beer seven point one percent alcohol i think is what it says on the bottle 
somewhere. That's what I read, anyway. So it's quite a, uh, it's almost like a double IPA. It's just going to put me to sleep. <laughs> oh, man. Some of, before I go, I don't want this video to be too long, but before I go, some of you are probably wondering, I said I was going to brew something up a couple weeks ago, and I never got around to it. I still have not brewed it. Okay, that's just, ha it happens. I have. I ran out of time. Stuff happened. I got a few things I had to I had to tend to. Spring is here. I've had stuff I've had to do, and I just have I haven't had time to to go in the kitchen and and spend three and a half or four hours making a beer. Just haven't. So that's why I ran out and I bought Cooper's um, um, Canadian Blonde. I brewed that, and the nuts in the keg now. So that was you know half an hour. Um, so I'll get to this. I have to get to it because I don't want this stuff to, you know, to, uh, uh, you know, get old. But it's fairly cool down here in the basement, so there shouldn't be a problem. I have not opened them yet. Um, I have, still haven't even worked out the entire recipe. But you will you will see it. You will see it. I will film parts of it, and uh, then we can taste it. And that's the whole fun of these Homebrew Wednesday videos is to, to brew and taste and talk and and just hang out. Um, but I think I'm out of time for this today, so I'm going to let you go. Happy Homebrew Wednesday, and happy Thirsty Thursday, and happy, happy every other day of the week. I try to get these out on time, but it doesn't always happen. But And I had problems with my camera because it was running out of space, and I didn't know, and it kept shutting off, and I'm like, what the, you know, what the hell's going on here? What the, you know, I just kept on starting it, and it would shut off, and the beer got warm, and oh, jeez. Finally, I realized the card was full. I had to go and dump a whole bunch of stuff off of it. <sighs> and I'm not frustrated at all. Oh, no. <laughs> it's my stupidity for not checking the, the memory card. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Share the video. Share all my videos. Share everything. Share a beer. And uh, we'll see you soon. Okay? Take care. Cheers.